Good afternoon, Soul Family. We are doing a little bit different reading of today. Oh, there you are. You've got the crow too. <laughs> Everybody has got the crow for the messenger. Okay. So each of us are going to be... Oh, there's another. Hello. Okay, song right now. I never meant to let you now. Let you down. You know I'm better now. You probably think you're better now. I say that I'm better now, but that's just because you're not around. So somebody's feel they've let another person down. The person is not in their life. They're trying to forget it and they're trying to move forward, but they can't get it out of their head. They're thinking that the other person is happier with them not around. And that's what they're pretending, but it's not the truth. I never meant to let you down. I would have given you everything. I'm better now. I say that because you're not around. So now two things you can think of. I'm better now. I want you to know that I'm better now. I never meant to let you down. Or somebody saying, you know what? I'm better now. I'm better without you. But that's not the truth. I saw you with the other guy. He seemed like he was pretty cool. I was so broken up over you. What can you do? I wonder what it's going to take. No matter how my life has changed, I keep looking back on better days. So right now we're in Venus retrograde and that's actually what's happening. There's a lot about relationships and looking back and wondering what happened and wondering, figuring out where we were then and where we are now and what needs to change. And this person is regretting. They're telling, they're not telling the truth of how they really feel. And they're sad and they're broken that somebody's moved on without them. Or maybe they think that. Promise I swear. I'll be okay. You're only the love of my life. I know how this feels. You probably think you're better now. You only say that because I'm not around. You know I never meant to let you down. I would have given you everything. You know I say I'm better now, but I only say that because you're not around. You're the love of my life. So the crow coming out of the darkness, it's about looking at your lessons and maybe you were in a dark time. Maybe you made poor decisions. Maybe someone else did. Somebody feels they've let somebody else down and they're sad about what they've lost. And sometimes it's about picking up and moving on. Sometimes it's recognizing, you know, that was a tough lesson. I lost that person and they're not back in my life. And it's, it was a, it was a hard lesson, but, but I got it. And I, and maybe it's about making amends. Maybe it's about saying, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. I let you down. I want you to be happy. I would have given you everything, but you've moved on. So it's about maybe gracefully letting go. Maybe it's about realizing that you know, even if it hurts, it's not necessarily in your highest good or it's in the highest good of both of you to move on to something different. It's about releasing the past. The crow is the trickster, the manipulator, the deceiver. Things weren't always as they appeared. Maybe it was you, maybe it was them. But the crow is also about embracing the magic within you, recognizing the lessons that you have and using your own integrity to stand. Song right now, tigers on a gold leash. We'll never be royals, right? This is a crew. They all hung together. That kind of love is not for us. We crave a different kind of buzz. So there's a difference between certain people. I want to be your ruler. You can call me Queen Bee. So somebody may have been very controlling, very spoiled. There's a difference between people. And somebody's regretting a loss. But there's need, a needing to accept and allow things to move forward. Sometimes people just vibrate out of others' frequency. And it doesn't mean that it has to be forever. Maybe it's just for a time. But it feels like there's a release that's happening. So let's, what I'm doing is everybody, I'm doing these in separate, I've done air signs, I've done water signs, I've done fire signs, and you earth signs are the last. 
and uh, I haven't even done our weekly reading, my gosh. <laughs> this is, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. I thought maybe I could break it down and, you know, get each, each um, but we're not just doing it Zodiac. We're going to be doing still the hybrid reading where you pick an item. So you can either pick an item or you can go by your Zodiac sign. So for all of you, I should have said it to everybody, go, go listen to all the other readings because it, you just, you can pick an item. They're all picking items. They're all hybrid readings. So what we'll do is each, um, each group, now we're at earth signs or those who resonate with the earth, right? Hardworking people that are into nature, into love, and all of us have it within us. But for earth signs, everyone will get one message and then we'll get a clarifier for each particular earth sign, Capricorn, Vir Virgo, and Taurus, okay? So for earth, you're gonna choose from the hothouse flower, the hibiscus. It's right here, we don't have a flower right now. It's already flowered and now it's growing again. So we've got new buds coming, new growth coming, but it's very strong, very healthy. Then we've got the, you know, we used that the other day. I'm just in love with it. Let's do this because my, let's use this ice plant because this is the sparrow, the victory sparrows, the sparrows of self-worth. They love this plant. And what's interesting about this plant is they come and they pick off the little dried pieces. They eat something in here. So I was, you know, I was sad because this got dried out and I thought, oh, I should cut that away, but I'm not because there's something that the victory sparrows come and eat. So something that may seem dead to you or to another person is actually what someone else wants. Why would you want that old thing, right? I don't understand you. Why would you want that old thing? Why wouldn't you just cut that away? But that's what the victory sparrow wants. It's, it's value to them. It may not be a value to you, but it's a value to them. So that's the first, and that is for Capricorns, okay? Um, no, that's not for Capricorns. Yeah, that will be for Capricorns. That's for Capricorns. Um, the hothouse flower, that will be for Virgos. And for Taurus people, we're going to use the pothos, because I think of the Tauros. The Taurus is being steady, strong, moving forward, stubborn, persevering. And the pothos, they can grow anywhere. They're the hardest ones to kill. I mean, you can kill them, but they are very easy to grow, and they're strong. They can grow in water. They can grow in dirt. I like them. They can grow anywhere. They're like the Victory Sparrow. So Victory Sparrow seems to be a focus for you as well. However, every single sign had the crow come forward. So we'll have the crow message posted along with this reading. Song right now. We're never getting older. You look as good as the day I met you. I forgot just why I left you. I was insane. Interesting. So we had somebody saying, I'm better now. I'm acting like I'm better, but I'm not. I miss you. You're the love of my life. And now you're saying, I can't believe. It breaks your heart. Moved to the city in a broke down car. Four years, no call. Now you're looking pretty in a hotel bar. And I can't stop. So this is, there's a lot of coming back around and taking another look, right? Things, people moving on, people going back, people reviewing. These ones are, are saying, wow, what was wrong with me? Somebody, you know, I let you down and I was crazy. I was, what was I thinking? So curious. Okay. Every one of these groups have had a different theme. It's interesting. So for your overall message, you know what? Your overall message you guys are going to get from the oracle of the shapeshifters. And we're going to do our clarifiers with the shadows and light. But you know what came forward for you guys, and it didn't for anyone else, was the romance angels. So I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just see what spirit says. Which sign either gets an oracle of shapeshifters clarifier or a romance angel. It'll depend. But for your overall message... For all earth signs or for everybody in general. Wow, and every and we have been getting repetition on all of the on all of the messages. I mean all the groups have been getting repetition. So this is just confirmation again. This is amazing. There's something that you're gonna do differently. Something that you didn't allow yourself to do before. Well, these messages, I never meant to let you down. Four years, no call. Now you're looking pretty in a hotel bar. What was wrong with me? I was out of my mind. Somebody didn't move forward. But you're not going to allow yourself to be afraid of moving forward now. You're going to take a risk. 
you may have turbulent things going on around your life. It may feel very scary. Two and six is eight. You will be taken care of. You'll be supplied. You'll be you'll be given the. Maybe you don't know what you're going into. Maybe you don't. You're, you're leaving a difficult situation, and going into it, what you don't know. Maybe the unknown. Maybe that's what's scary for you. I've, I, I'm a person who likes to have everything mapped out, and and I don't know what's coming. But I'm not going to let fear stop me. And the universe is going to take care of me. I'm abundantly supplied. Whatever it is, I've got. Home is where my heart is, and this pigeon is a homing pigeon. It's taking me home to what's important for me. And these songs have all been about going home to where your heart is. And when it gets hard, and it can get hard sometimes, but love's the only thing that makes us feel alive. Wait for me to come home. So somebody may have been off at work. Somebody may have been in the military. Somebody may be coming home. Pigeon, homing pigeon is bringing them home. Wait for me to come home. Maybe somebody has separated, you know, has been away because they've been learning. They've been growing. They've been expanding. Maybe they were afraid to move forward. Wait for me to come home to you. I'm not going to let fear stop me this time. I let it stop me. I got so far and then I stopped. I bailed. I let you down. I'm sorry. I can't believe I, I must have been out of my mind. But I'm not going to let fear stop me this time. I'm moving forward with whatever this is. It could be a relationship. It could be coming home to your own spiritual self. I let fear of what others think stop me from moving forward in my life. I let fear stop me from, from going out and, and, and expanding and and venturing out and, and exploring. I let fear. I kept myself home. I didn't get, get outside of my comfort zone. Maybe that. Maybe I didn't stretch. I kept myself in a dead-end job because I was afraid to, to strike it out on my own. I was afraid. I remember Spirit said to me, you're done with cutting hair. We want you to embrace your spiritual work. And I was afraid. I was afraid. I didn't know if I was qualified. I didn't know if I could be, you know, what if the words don't come? I was, I was scared to do it. So maybe this is you. You're stepping up to the next level. To much, to who much is given, much is expected. Some more is expected. You're expecting more from yourself, and you're going to do it. And you're not going to let fear stop you this time. You're moving forward. So for Capricorns, we're going to go. Capricorns, you're getting the Romance Angels. Correct for neutrality. For Capricorns, or for those who chose the ice plant that the that the Victory Sparrow loves to feed on. That's interesting. Correct for neutrality. Your clarifier is let your friends help you. And that's what's going on right here. That's what's ha what you're seeing right there. You're not doing it alone. You're letting your friends help you. You've been afraid to move forward. Maybe with your work. Maybe you're going to ask your friends to help you out. Maybe you're going to ask for support in... Uh, in, in finding yourself a relationship. You know, I'm, I'm trying to find my true north. I'm trying to find what's in my highest good. I'm leaving a difficult circumstance and I haven't really trust, I haven't really made the best choices, you know? But I'm looking to light-minded souls. I'm calling on spirit to help me find my soul family, find my true north. I will you remember how you kissed me wait for me to come home. I've remembered you. Someone's coming home. I've remembered you. You're my friend. You've been my friend. I'm not going to allow fear to stop me. You've had my back. I'm coming home to my friends. Sometimes we need to come home to ourselves as a friend. And sometimes we need to ask spirit for help with that. We need to be our own true self and our own true friend. We need to be our friend first. If we don't know how to be a friend to ourselves, we can't be a friend to another. Maybe I need to learn how to stand up for myself and say this is who I am. Maybe I've chosen to leave friends that were not in my highest good and I'm going to go to people that are in the light. I'm not going to let fear stop me from moving forward. I'm not going to let fear of what other people think stop me from being with who I resonate with. I'm not going to let fear stop me from standing up for my friends who have been there for me. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to be there. I'm not going to... I let them down before. I'm not going to let them down. 
I'm not gonna let them down and I'm not gonna let myself down because I realize when I don't stand up for myself, I'm letting myself down. And when I don't stand up for the people in my life that matter to me, I'm letting them down and I'm not gonna let fear get in my way. I'm not gonna let fear get in my way about going out and making friends. Maybe I've been an isolated person, but I want friends. So I'm gonna ask for support from the universe to help me find the right type of people in my life. Maybe this has been a real toxic energy. Whatever it is, let's see. What is it that what is it that you're gonna ask your friends to help you with? Let's see. We'll ask from the shadow. Oracle of Shadows and Light. Oh my god! Aren't you guys blessed? Because look who's here. The Osprey. Oh, I wonder if you'll get a better grip, a better glimpse of him. The Osprey says you will dive down deep under your emotional waters and you will emerge safe and sound. You have the ability to do so. He just landed on the palm tree over there. Right on the edge of that palm tree. I don't know if you guys can see him. So what he's doing is he's taking a look at things from a higher perspective. So I would say for that, you call upon spirit for help with those changes. They'll help you see things from the right perspective. Also, the Osprey says there's an important, there's some important information pending at this moment. And there's an opportunity that's going to come to you. And in order for you to want your dream, to get your dreams realized, you're going to have to move on that opportunity because it won't be there for long. They're going to be bringing you an opportunity to act. So if you want to see what it is that you want come to fruition, you're going to have to dive on it. That's what they're saying. And sometimes that means dive down deep under your emotional waters, out of your comfort zone. And you're not going to let fear stop you this time. You're not because you are the raptor. It's basically telling you to grab on, grab a hold of what's important to you. Use those talons to grasp. Those talons can be used to hurt and they can be used to help yourself. But you're going to help yourself and you're going to help your friends. And you're going to ask your friends to help you. Maybe you're going to call upon the wisdom of the osprey to help you see things from a higher perspective. You're a, you're a raptor, you're a predator. But there's dark and light. And when I see the raptor, I see nobility. The raptor is a messenger. It also is saying that maybe you need to deliver a message for someone. Maybe you're gonna, or maybe someone, maybe your friends are gonna deliver a message for you. Why don't you ask your friend to help you? If you've had a situation and you're trying to come back together with someone or trying to solve a problem or trying to come to some kind of an understanding, you have let somebody down, you've hurt somebody. Ask your friends to help you deliver a message. I wanna meet up with them. Can you help me? Can you arrange this? Maybe someone's gonna be a matchmaker. Somebody's gonna set something up. Your friends, ask your friends to help you. I hate to walk away from him. I see the light shining on his crown. So that's a message to you as well. Keep your thoughts focused up on spirit. Good to get, spend some time outside and get the, get the warmth on your crown. Allow that masculine energy, the divine masculine, that forward movement, that warmth to spread through you. Use it as a protective clearing and shielding. You take the sun and you have it come into your crown and it pours down throughout your entire body. Everything inside, there he goes going to go off and he's going to survey. Where did you go? Mm, he started to go one way and he went back. Okay, so he's he surveyed, he took a swing around and he's like, no, I'm going to go the other way. So he's going back. He's going, so he went that way and then he went back around. So you're going to use that divine sun, the masculine. Here, let's take a peek at it so you can get a visual. Take that heat. And now polar, oh, it feels good, it feels good. You know what, I need to be out in the sun for a few minutes. Take that sun, and as it pours down and through your crown, you ask your father to be pouring you love and unconditional healing energy into your body. And it's gonna go down into your crown, and it's gonna fill you up from the roots all the way up to the crown. And as it goes up past all of your chakras, it's gonna start highlighting all your chakras. It's gonna start spinning them and activating them all, clearing and burning away everything, fear, doubt, worry, anger, anything that was in your way, it's going to burn it away. And it's going to go by all the, as, as the chakras start highlighting and start moving around, activate, then it comes to the top, it fills you. All that energy is filling, filling, filling. When it gets to the top, it's like a volcano erupting. And out of the top, there's your action. And there's your osprey surveying up there. And when it pours out down around the outside of you, it's going to burn away. 
any negative thoughts, feelings, any past concerns, anything that was a problem before, anything that you might be holding on to, you're going to burn it away. And what it does is that anything that anyone else has brought against you, anything that was on the outside, it's all burned away. And then as it hardens, it becomes a protective shielding. So you're cleaned and shielded on the inside. You're filled with loving, healing energy. You're protected on the outside. And as it hardens, it turns to titanium, rainbow titanium. It's filled with love and healing. And then we ask for it to be given a mirrored coating around the outside so that any negative or toxic energy that tries to come against you bounce right back off and it will be mirrored back to whoever's sending it. But also what will be bounced off and go to them will be love and healing because we want that for everyone. We want the world to change in a positive way. You're lucky. You're the only ones who got to see the Osprey. Nice. You're going to get the Osprey message. Everyone else got crow and you did get crow. And maybe it's about eating crow. You know what? Eating crow is not a bad thing. It's not. If it brings friends back together, it's worth it. Take a look at things from a higher perspective. Okay, we want to see. What is this in regards to helping your friends? Friends are helping you in what way? Ah, that's exactly. This is awesome. Okay, so what's going on is you've let somebody down. There's been a problem. There's been a break in communication, and you've got a blo a, bro a wall. There's a wall. It it's between a person. It's it's an event in your life. You can't see your way through it. But spirit, you're going to ask spirit for help and you're going to call upon your friends and you're going to ask, ask for them to be help, to help you, to be a mediator, to be a messenger for you. Stubborn thinking can be changed. It has to be changed. And the walls already started to come down with whatever this issue was, the wall has already started to come down. Spirit will guide you in the right way and you might need to rely on your friends to help you get through. But there is a solution to this problem. I think about her and she knows it. I want to let it take control. Because every time she gets closer, she pulls me in and loves to keep me guessing. Maybe I should stop and start confessing. There we go. Yep, you've asked for spirit's help and spirit's telling you, you know what, you could maybe ask your friends to be a mediator, but there's definitely needing to be eating crow, right? I need to confess. You're manipulating my decisions. There's really nothing holding me back. I'm ready to go. There's nothing holding me back. I think about her and she knows it. So it's clear, but you're going to have to stop being so stubborn. You're going to have to move forward. Spirit will show you the way. There's going to be love and healing, but you have to speak your truth. And you can have friends help you do this. How can your friends help you? A friend can be a messenger. You're afraid. The song says, she says, she's never afraid. Just see everybody naked. She doesn't like to wait. She's not into hesitating. That's her, the tail trailblazer. Blazer. But here, you've been afraid, but you're not going to be. You recognize that this is your friend and it's helping you. She's helping you. He's helping you. Important information and act is, is pending at this time. If you want to see some results, you need to act. And the time is now. you got an opportunity in front of you. This is who is this for? Capricorns. Or for anyone who chose the ice plant that the Victory Sparrow loves to feed off of. And your successes can be truly amazing now. See? No need, reason for fear in any way, shape, or form. You're a great listener, so listen to what Spirit's telling you. Just relax. Go with it, right? Trust. Not the right time now for something. So your success can be truly amazing. You need to relax. Let your friends help you. You've been thinking a lot about somebody. There's a wall that you've hit, but you can break the wall down. Your friends can help you do it. You need to move on that opportunity, but not the right time for something. What is it not the right time for? Shyness is a factor. Okay, so this one that's afraid to fly, that's the one who thinks it's not the right time right now because shyness is a factor. So no, maybe, maybe that's the situation. Shyness is a factor. They're saying it's not the right time, or maybe you are, but there is a way through this block wall. And how does it happen? Stubborn thinking has to be removed. 
You've got to stop thinking in the way that you've been thinking, the stinking thinking. Let your friends help you if you're shy. You have to relax. If you're listening to spirit, they're going to help you. There's nothing holding you back. Set new priorities. New priorities are, I got nothing holding me back. Right? I want to remedy this situation. I have the ability to do so. Okay. So for... Who are we next? We're going to Virgos. So for Virgos or anyone who chose the hothouse flowers... So for Virgos, or for those who chose the hothouse flowers, what is your compliment or your clarifier? There's a side of you I never knew. All the games you played and always will. All the things you said that were never true. And the games you played and always would. Is this to do with your job? I set fire to the rain. So I want to get rid of the, the, the sadness. Here you see someone carrying somebody away to safety. There's war. There's war in both of these pictures. So there's been a very difficult situation. There's either been warring in someone's heart or there's been actual danger and, and fighting around this, this situation. And this little one is being carried safely out of danger. This tower has fallen. This tower is empty. This is a ghost house. This is the past. And this house is on fire. But I've set, so I've set fire to the rain. I'm not going to cry about this anymore. I'm letting this go. Things about you that I never knew. Things that, all, lies that you told. Things that you said that weren't true. And all the games that you kept playing and you always would play. I'm leaving this. I'm going to keep safe what's important to me and I'm leaving. I'm moving on. Here is my... My white crane, my ship is sailing. I've recognized. You played games with me. I thought you were my friend. I thought you were my home. But you dropped bombs on me. I set fire to the rain. I'm taking what's precious to me and I'm leaving. I'm keeping it sacred and keeping it safe. And this is about, she's put her hand over top of this little, this is, this is a meant to be a dragon. This is a dragon energy. But when I look at it, I see a woodpecker. And the woodpecker is about, you know, announcing their presence. And she's got her hand over the woodpecker like, shh, don't say anything. So I'm, I'm taking what's important to me and I'm, and I'm leaving and I'm keeping it quiet. I'm protecting it. I'm not going to tell everything that I know. Remember the secrets and the games that you played? Well, I'm not going to give you my information anymore. I'm leaving. I've set fire to the rain. I'm done with this. I'm going to my true home. I'm going home. I'm going to be assisted by spirit. This is about not telling everything that you know. There are ones that, that are that's seeking to do damage. You know this. This is about some people aren't ready to hear what you have. Some people aren't ready to understand. To them, it was it was war. They it, it caused a war. They don't understand. We're not like them. We're leaving. We're going to go where it's safe. Because this wisdom, this ancient wisdom, it's sacred. It's, it's something that needs to be protected. And you don't give to other people who don't understand in order for them to damage it. Sometimes we have to keep things under the hat. And I'm going to let it burn. Work-related concerns. So work. There was a problem with this. Is, maybe this is the type of work you were involved with. Maybe there's a lot of secrets. Maybe there's a lot of... It's been a lot of real dark energy. It's, it's maybe you've been in the military... Maybe it's an undercover assignment. There were secrets that had to be kept. It's been very destructive, but I'm leaving that. Maybe your work has been very destructive for you. You said you'd love me to the day I died. You made me believe that I, you were mine. You used to call me baby, now you're calling me by name. Take one, takes one to know when you beat me at my own damn game.
You push and you push, and I pull away. I pull away. You give, I give and I give and you take and you take. Young blood, do you want me out of your life? Do you want me to leave? I'm just a dead man walking. This has been draining. Work has drained the, the life out of me. You've taken my young blood. You said you'd be there for me. You said you'd, you, you thought this was going to be good for you, and all it did was drain you and, and hurt you. This work was, this is an awful place. It could be how you feel about the company that you worked for. You said you'd be there for me, but you, you tell lies. You said you'd stand, you, you know, you, you'd support me, but you let me down. You let me crash and burn. You just play games and you lie. This is a, this is a narcissistic work system. I had to tell secrets and lies. You told secrets and lies. Nothing was clear. I don't want that. I'm going to set fire to the rain. I'm out of here. Very overwhelmed right now. The situation is it's been overwhelming. If somebody pushed you out of their life, somebody that said that they would be there for you. They've lied and they've manipulated Maybe it was kept quiet. Maybe it was all hushed up. Maybe people knew and they didn't tell you. And you've burned down that house. Not likely at this time. It's not likely at this time. It's all the games that you played. I thought you were something different. I thought this job was something different. It's not what I thought it was. It caused me to be extremely overwhelmed. I give and I give and I give and you take. So I'm choosing a different path. I'm running away. Shyness is a factor. Why is shyness such a factor? Somebody's been taken advantage of because of their soft, gentle nature. They need to relax. These just all fell out because they were, well, I guess you're going to get them. I was going to say they fell out because they weren't shuffled properly, but you do need to relax. And you are a very good listener. And you're a shy person and you were taken advantage of because of that. And people that should have been your friends ran ripshot over you. It left you feeling very overwhelmed. And you're going to choose a different path. It's not likely that this is going to be remedied. You're going to go after your passion. You, give, you gave and gave and all they did was take. They took your young blood. You were confusing to me. You want me out of your life. I'm a dead man walking. Look at it. It's like, you know, I've, I've got nothing left. It's extremely overwhelming. It's time now for me to relax and go after what I'm passionate for. I'm going to choose a different direction. Wow. Okay. So for Taurus, song right now, The Woman is My Destiny. We were victims of the past. I wonder if this is for the last message because it sure seems like it. Maybe it's just blending. We were victims of the past, but we're not. And somebody, you know, because look, it's fearful, right? I was fearful, but not, not anymore. I don't know how this happened. You took my heart. And she's saying, don't look back. Keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on me. Don't look back. Shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny, so whatever this woman represents, it's your destiny, and it's time to move forward and not be afraid, and you're not going to be afraid. So for those who chose the pothos, the determined plant, or four Taurus signs, we were bound to get together, bound to be together. So this is destiny. I don't know how it happened. But it's kind of like divine intervention. Spirit stepped in. Keep your eyes on me. Right? Keep your eyes. Don't be afraid. Whoa. This woman is my destiny. Carnivorous fairy. So, whatever it was that took everything from you, you're leaving. You're not going to allow fear to stop you. This one... This one took advantage of you. This one presented themselves or the job presented itself as something that was good or something did. It could be a job. It could be a drug. It could be a person. Whatever it is, it was a tempting offer. Something that looked too good to be true and it was and it took everything from you. 
And sometimes it's a toxic relationship that you're not able to break free of, but you're not going to let fear stop you this time. This time, you're not going to intimidate you. This is somebody who is very charming and, and is, everything is great as long as you do everything they want you to do. And if you don't, then they become abusive, aggressive, nasty. They think that you owe them your life. You owe everything to me. But you're not going to let fear stop you and get in your way. Not anymore. You're not going to fall for this. Your clarifier is going to come from the relationship cards. What is this in regards to? Control. Yep. There was somebody that showed themselves at this delicate little flower or a business that seemed very innocent, but it was controlling. It was all controlling. And you weren't able to see it. We only see what we're ready to see, and we can only follow the rules we understand. I didn't see it. Surrender the illusion that you're in control of anyone, including yourself. Let life surprise you. And you know what? You don't get control me. You don't get to control me. I barely have control over my own life. I'm not going to allow you to control me anymore. This one controlled you. Whatever this was, a, a relationship, a family member, a group of friends, a business, like I said, an addiction, it looked like it was a good, it looked good, it was a good opportunity, it felt good, it tasted good going down, but it controlled my life. And I have the ability to move on. I'm not going to be stopped. I'm going to go out, I'm going to spread my wings. I'm going to move out. Song right now, you intoxicate me. Just like nicotine touching me. I'm on my knees. It's you, babe. I could try to run, but it would be useless. But you know what? In this situation, you are. You don't have to run. You're going to walk away. You're going to fly away proudly. You're not going to let that addiction pull you down. You're not going to allow that intimidation to get to you. Sometimes people think that we shouldn't stretch out and try something. That's scary. Maybe your things aren't, maybe this is another situation. Maybe somebody is thinking, they're telling you that this is not in your highest good. This is going to take the life out of you. This is sucking you. This is, this is not a good risk. But spirit's saying no. It's you, babe. I could try to run, but it would be useless. Maybe others were telling you that this wasn't in your highest good. But you're not going to let fear stop you. Maybe it was a, a, you were going to move out and try a venture on your own, a business on your own. You're going to fail. It's going to take everything from you, but you're not going to let, and you didn't allow yourself to move forward, but you're going to now because you're going to be a chance. You're given a chance to do something that's going to help you expand. You can view it as something that's scary. The crow says things aren't always as they appear, but there's messages coming forward. We go at the Osprey. There's going to be messages coming forward for you. There's going to be a text message or an email. You can choose whether you respond to it, whether you are afraid, afraid of it, whether you don't want to look into it. It's going to take my freedom. It's going, to, it's going to take from me. I don't want to give my love. I don't want to give my heart. Are you afraid? You say you're not afraid. You're not going to let fear stop you this time. You're not certain but you're going to take off. You're going to travel. You're going to explore. You're going to take that risk. Interesting. Do you have a clarifier for this? Financial issues. So it's about work or maybe you're afraid to move forward because your finances are low. But spirit says, and your higher self is saying, no, I'm not going to let that stop me. I have let that stop me before, but I'm not. This song, you're in my blood, you're in my veins. I'm going for this. I'm not going to allow financial issues to get into my way and stop me. I'm not going to allow someone who's been controlling me to stop me from moving forward. Possibly. Something is a possibility. There is a possibility. It may possibly take months to accomplish. Within the next few months, okay, within the next few months, your financial issues will be handling, they'll be handled. Don't allow fear to move you, stop you from moving forward. Song right now, my golden treasure chest, 
Ah, financial issues. She's going to take all of your money. This person has money. For you, I would give it all away. My friends and family think I, should, I would lose so much if I went with you. But for you, I would risk it all. I'm ready to go. They're worried about my money. They, they worried that maybe you are, what are they called? A gold digger. She's a gold digger. She's after your money. My artifacts. I'd up and run to you. I'd lose it all for you. That's how you feel about this situation. But you've been told by others, don't. Give me one good reason why I should make a change. If you want me, seven. Okay, this is not seven months, this is seven days. And there's a hummingbird. You will accomplish what might seem impossible to yourself or others. This isn't possible. Yes, it is possible. Yes, it is possible. I'm not gonna allow fear to stop me this time. You've told me to be afraid that this person just wants to take from me. That it's all about financial issues. Maybe there's someone else that has caused financial issues that stopped me from going where I wanted to go. If you would take my hand, I would run with you. I'd lose it all. Months, within the next few months, everything is possible. That's where you have to change your thinking. Everything is possible. There it is, okay. So it's gonna require time and effort to bring it about. Your financial situation, it's gonna come about within the next few months, but don't worry about it because everything is possible and you will accomplish what might seem impossible to yourself and to others. The hummingbird just said it, so lighten up and relax. This could be seven days, seven hours. The number seven says you're on the right path. That's the message. You're on the right path. It will exceed your expectations. Don't listen to what others have said. It's going to require time and effort to bring it about. You may have come from a situation that was all consuming and you're leaving that and you're moving forward. And it sounds like there's somebody you wanna go with. For you, I would leave it all. You're my focus. You're my home. You're my true north. There's your messages, you guys. All right, we're at a wrap. Dang. And you know what? Anything worth having is worth putting the effort in to bring it about, right? The song right now, what about us? What about us? If this is a work situation, what about us? You said, you said that this would be, this would be. But, what, but all you did was take. I gave and all you did was take. It was months and months out of my life. You kept saying, within the next few months, within the next few months, but, but it never changed. I, I stay, did you stay there for money? Was somebody there just for money? Did this one stay just for money? I'm moving on. All I know is I'm on the right path now and it will exceed my expectations and I will accomplish what others may seem is impossible because everything is possible. What about us? What about all the broken happy ever afters? What about all the plans that ended in disaster, right? Relying on the wrong people. This is a carnivorous fairy. This is the promising you all of this stuff. What about us? It never came through. It never came true. And so now maybe you're afraid to move forward thinking that it's the same kind of a situation, but it's not. There's many different messages here. We're all problems that want to be solved. We're all children that want to be loved. And we need to be loved. We were willing, we came when you called. It's like a military or a religion or a family. You fooled us. Enough is enough. You've taken enough from me. You've taken my life's blood. I'm going on to what is in my highest good. I won't let fear stop me this time. I know I'm on my right path and it will require time and effort to bring it about, but I'm determined. 
And when the opportunity shows itself, I'm going to jump on it. All right, you guys, that's it. I'm going to upload these. I'm going to hopefully get enough energy to do our weekly reading because this took a lot. This might be the last time I do it this way. We'll see. Um, and every one of your readings was about 30, 45, 40 to 45 minutes long. So, wow. All right. I love you guys.